हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे माय प्रेजेंटेशन टाइटल इज ड्रॉट एंड क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव डन एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विद स्पेशलाइज एग्रोनॉमी फ्रॉम जे बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर इन नाइनटीन एंड प्रेजेंटली वर्किंग एज ए सीड प्रोफेशनल इन वन ऑफ द एम एसोसिएटेड विद सीड्स एंड पेस्टिसाइड्स सो लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द प्रेजेंटेशन वाट इज ड्रॉट एज ए डिफिनेशन There is no universally accepted definition for drought. Early workers defined drought as prolonged period without rainfall. According to Ramdas, drought is a situation when the actual season rainfall is deficient by more than twice the mean deviation. American Meteorological Society defined drought as a period of abnormally dry weather sufficiently prolonged for lack of water to cause a severe hydrological imbalance in the area affected. Prolonged deficiency of soil moisture adversely affect crop growth, indicating incidence of agricultural drought. It is the result of imbalance between soil moisture and evapotranspiration. Needs of an area over a fairly long period is to cause damage to standing crops and to reduce the yields. The Irrigation Commission of India defines drought as a situation occurring in any area where the annual rainfall is less than 75 percent of normal rainfall. classification of drought drought can be classified based on different parameters like first one based on duration second based on nature of users third based on time of occurrence and based on using some specific terms demarcation between the classifications is not well defined and many times overlapping of the cause and effect of one on rest is seen Now to study the classification of drought based on duration. First one is permanent drought. This is characteristic of the desert climate, where a sparse vegetation growing is adapted to drought, and agriculture is possible only by irrigation during entire crop season. Second is seasonal drought. This is found in climates with well-defined rainy and dry seasons. Most of the arid and semi-arid zones fall in this category. Duration of the crop varieties and planting dates should be such that the growing season should fall within rainy season. Third is contingent drought. This involves an abnormal failure of rainfall. It may occur almost anywhere, especially in most part of humid or subhumid climates. It is usually brief, irregular, and generally affects only a small area. Now, fourth is invisible drought. This can occur. even when there is frequent rain in an area when rainfall is inadequate to meet the evapotranspiration losses the result is borderline water deficiency in soil resulting in less than the optimum yield this occurs usually in humid regions now classification of drought based on nature of users is described by national commission on agriculture in 1976 it is of four types first one is meteorological drought It is defined as a condition where the annual precipitation is less than the normal over an area of prolonged period, month, season, or year. Second is atmospheric drought. It is due to low air humidity, frequently accompanied by hot, dry winds. It may occur even under conditions of adequate available soil moisture. It refers to a condition when plants show wilting symptoms during the hot part of the day. when transpiration exceeds absorption temporarily for a short period when decreases absorption keeps pace with transpiration and plants revive third is hydrological drought meteorological drought when prolonged result in hydrological drought with depletion of surface water and consequent drying of reservoirs tanks etc it results in deficiency of water for all sectors using water This is based on water balance and how it affects irrigation as a whole for bringing crops to maturity. Then fourth drought is agricultural drought. It is the result of soil moisture stress due to imbalance between available soil moisture and evapotranspiration of a crop. It is usually gradual and progressive. Plants can therefore adjust at least partially to the increased soil moisture stress. This situation arises as a consequence of a scanty precipitation or its uneven distribution both in space and time. It is also usually referred as soil drought. 
Now to study about agricultural drought. Relevant definition of agricultural drought appears to be a period of dryness during the crop season sufficiently prolonged to adversely affect the yield. The extent of yield loss depends on crop growth stages and the degree of stress. It does not begin when the rain ceases but actually commences only when the plant roots are not able to obtain the soil moisture rapidly enough to replace evapotranspiration transpiration losses. Important causes for agriculture droughts are first one is inadequate precipitation, second is erratic distribution of rainfall, third is long dry spells in the monsoon season, fourth late onset of monsoon, fifth early withdrawal of monsoon, and sixth lack of proper soil and crop management. Third type of classification of drought based on time of occurrence, it is of three types, first one is early season drought. It occurs due to delay in onset of monsoon or due to long dry spells after early sowings. Second is mid-season drought. It occurs due to long gaps between two successive rains and stored soil moisture becoming insufficient during this long dry spell. And third, late-season drought. It occurs due to early cessation of rainfall and crop water stress at maturity stage. Fourth classification of drought is other terms to describe drought. First one is apparent drought. What is drought for one crop may not be drought for another crop. What is drought in red soils may not be drought in black soils. So this term represents the different factors responsible for drought and relation to different crops or, or situations. Second is physiological drought. It refers to a condition where crops are unable to absorb water from soil even when water is available due to high osmotic pressure of soil solution due to increased soil concentration as in saline and alkali soils it is not due to deficit of water supply now we'll study about periodicity of drought the indian meteorological department imd examined the incidence of drought for the period from 1871 to 1967 utilizing the monthly rainfall of 306 stations in the country. It was seen that during 1877, 1899, 1918 and 1972, more than 40% of the total area experienced drought. General observation on the periodicity of drought in respect of different meteorological subdivisions of India is given below. Like if you will see the meteorological subdivisions in Assam, the period of occurrence of drought very rare and it is once in 15 years. While in case of West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, Konkan, Coastal Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, Bihar, Air Odisha, it is observed once in 5 years. While in states South Interior Karnataka, Eastern Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat, Vidarbha, of Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Western Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kashmir, Rail Sima and Telangana, it is once in three years. While in western Rajasthan, the period of occurrence of drought is once in 2.5 years. Now to study drought periods. First one is beginning of drought. Droughts do not occur in Assam, South Kerala and eastern part of West Bengal. Severe drought begins on 1st October in the northwest arid zone and even much earlier in western parts of the country. In the southern arid zone and adjoining interior portion of Maharashtra, the severe drought begins by the end of November. In most of the central portion of the country to the east of the line joining Delhi, Udaipur, Baroda and commencement is only in the month of February or later. This is due to high water holding capacity of the black soil region. In the western coastal region of Maharashtra and Karnataka, the rainfall is very high. In spite of this, severe drought begins by December, January, probably because of the lower water holding capacity of soil. Severe drought commences only after April in Gwalior, Guna, Jabalpur, Pendra and Satna regions of Madhya Pradesh. And now second is closure of drought. In general, severe drought ends outside the regions of East Bihar, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Southern Andhra Pradesh only by 1st May. In most of these regions, it ends after 15th May. In the arid zone of North West India, severe drought ends normally during the second fortnight of June, except in the Jaisalmer and Bikane regions where 
नॉर्मली सेसेशन ऑफ सीवियर ड्रॉट इज ओनली बाई द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ जुलाई नाउ विल स्टडी ड्रॉट इम्पैक्ट ऑन क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट वन इज ऑन वाटर रिलेशंस ड्रॉट एल्टर्स द वाटर स्टेटस बाय इट्स इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन एब्जॉर्बसन ट्रांसलोकेशन एंड ट्रांसपिरेशन द लैग इन एब्जॉर्बसन बिहाइंड ट्रांसपिरेशन रिजल्ट इन लॉस ऑफ टर्गर एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ इंक्रीज इन द एटमोस्फेरिक ड्राइनेस सेकेंड इज फोटोसिंथिस फोटोसिंथिस इज रिड्यूस्ड बाई मॉइस्चर स्ट्रेस ड्यू टू रिडक्शन इन फोटोसिंथेटिक रेट क्लोरोफिल कंटेंट लीफ एरिया एंड इंक्रीज इन एसिमुलेट सेचुरेशन इन लीव्स ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ ट्रांसलोकेशन नाउ थर्ड इज रेस्पिरेशन रेस्पिरेशन इंक्रीजेज विथ माइल्ड ड्रॉट बट मोर सिवियर ड्रॉट लोअर्स वाटर कंटेंट एंड रेस्पिरेशन फोर्थ इज एनाटोमिकल चेंजेज डिक्रीज इन साइज ऑफ द सेल्स एंड इंटरसेलर स्पेसेस थीकर सेल वाल एंड ग्रेटर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल टिश्यूज आर द एनाटोमिकल चेंजेज अस्टोमेटा पर यूनिट एरिया टेंड टू इंक्रीज देन फिफ्थ मेटाबोलिक रिएक्शन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल मेटाबोलिक रिएक्शन आर अफेक्टेड बाई वाटर डिफिसिट्स सिक्सथ हारमोनल रिलेशनशिप एल्टर्ड द एक्टिविटी ऑफ ग्रोथ प्रोमोटिंग हारमोन्स लाइक साइटोकाइनिन जिब्रेलिक एसिड एंड इंडोलिसिटिक एसिड डिक्रीजेज एंड ग्रोथ रेगुलेटिंग हारमोन्स लाइक एफसीसिक एसिड इथिलीन एट्सेट्रा इंक्रीजेज सेवंथ इज अफेक्ट ऑन न्यूट्रिशन द फिक्सेशन ऑपटेक एंड एसिमुलेशन ऑफ नाइट्रोजन इज अफेक्टेड सिंस ड्राई मेटर प्रोडक्शन इज कंसिडरेबली रिड्यूस्ड द ऑपटेक ऑफ नाइट्रोजन फॉस्फोरस एंड पोटेशियम इज रिड्यूस्ड नाउ एट्थ ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट ड्रॉट रिजल्ट एंड डिक्रीज इन ग्रोथ ऑफ लिव्स स्टेम्स एंड फ्रूट्स Maturity is delayed if drought occurs before flowering, while it advances if drought occurs after flowering. Now, ninth effect on reproduction and grain growth. Drought at flowering and grain development determines the number of fruits and individual grain weight respectively. Panicle initiation in cereal is critical, while drought at anthesis may lead to drying of pollen. Drought at grain development stage reduces yield. while vegetative and grain filling stages are less sensitive to moisture stress now 10th effect on yield the effect on yield depends on what portion of the total dry matter is considered as useful material to be harvested if it is aerial and underground parts effect of drought is as sensitive as total growth when the yield consists of seeds as in cereals moisture stress at flowering is detrimental When the yield is fiber or chemicals, where economic produce is a small fraction of total dry matter, moderate stress on growth does not have adverse effect on yields. So this was all about drought and its impact on crop production. Hope this presentation will be very very useful to all of you. Now my presentation ends here. Thank you very much. I have given here my YouTube channel details. Journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Having request, please visit the channel, subscribe it, and provide your kind and valuable feedback for further improvements. Thank you.